I got to do this test, like self-test, where I measure my temperature using this um, twice a day, every day, for as long as I'm in quarantine. So I'll just show you how it goes. Basically, you take out the thermometer. Yeah. And then you put it, well, you turn it on, put it under my arm, and then we wait for like 40-ish seconds. And then after he's done, I had 35.3, which is normal. Uh, I have this application where I put it in. I can't show you because I'm actually filming on my phone right now. To show my temperature and if I have any COVID-related symptoms. And then I submit it to, I guess, some health office somewhere. So yeah, I have to do that twice a day, seven days. Okay, let's do a little room tour. So first you have... This is the front door, where you have the guidelines and rules with like how you have to dispose of food waste and stuff like that. You're only allowed to open the door if there's food next to it. Other than that, you have to keep it closed unless they tell you to. So, shoes. And this is the room, pretty big bed, which is really nice because I don't, like this is my chair, right? It doesn't have back support, so my back is pretty much always dying. Then I have my little support animal here because, you know, EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! And then TV, I've only turned it on once, <laughs> everything is in Korean, it's nice but I prefer to just watch videos on my laptop. My toothbrush that is currently charging. Uh, let me show you what I did. So this is um, recyclable. So this is mostly my containers and bottles. This is just the plastic bags that all the food comes in. And then here is where I put my other waste. But I'm not going to show you because that's more disgusting. This is where I eat and do my work. It's funny because you get chopsticks like this every meal but i have my own my friend gave me these so i use these so i have a collection building up also spoons and then this is just tissues that i'm saving for when i um, go out um i have a little snack cabinet here i don't eat much so there's just a lot of foods that get left behind and just save them everything that can be saved i save and then I'll take it with me when I get out. Uh, this is where I study my Korean on. Let's see, level one, lesson, lesson two. I'm not that far yet because I'm lazy. Name, Nara, Irim, country name, nationality, country, Sigo, job, occupation. Irim, Nara, Sigo, Ongheo. I have a little uh, fridge here where I keep some stuff. It's pretty empty right now. Oh, let me just show you the outside. So this is the view, it's not the best. And then down there you can see most, yeah, you can see someone walk by. This is where people walk by. Other than that, I see nobody. And the bathroom. It opens to the inside, which is a bit annoying because it's already small. So we have a mirror. We have my sink with a tiny towel. The toilet with a lot of buttons. Uh, I got a see see the door. I have to close it again. It's really annoying. Bathtub. There's mirrors when you shower, so 
for people with like body dysmorphia or I guess low self-esteem the shower is not the best and then I have some extra space here because the sink space is kind of small so that's the bathroom yeah that's pretty much the entire room